Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to do a uh, response to this video. Brother sent clips of it yesterday and we was cracking up, man. <laughs> this guy, uh, Vocab Malone, calls himself trying to uh, number the Hebrew Israelites. And the funny thing about him and his mission is they look at us as just these willy-nilly, you know, weirdos who are popping up with some racial, you know, uh, superiority complex, you know, some black identity extremists or whatever the hell they believe. And they try to omit what's written in biblical prophecy. And what they're doing is they're carnally trying to get an understanding of why we're doing what we're doing as if biblical prophecy itself doesn't explain wh what's happening. Okay. And first of all, we're not black. There's no such thing as black. There's no nation in the Bible known as black. Okay. And the pseudoscience of today, all right, that has dominated the narrative, you know, over the past 500 years or so, you know, with Christianity and, you know, Darwinism and the nations on the earth being known as black, white, you know, red, you know, Indian, Mexican, you know, Chinese, all of that garbage is now being swallowed up through the great awakening of the Israelites. And what makes this awakening great has nothing to do with the numbers. All right. What makes it great is the fact that it's influenced through the Holy Spirit. That is why you see Israelites awakening. Because it is associated with end time prophecy that the Israelites in the latter days among the nations, whether they were scattered, would come back to who they really are before the Heavenly Father sent his only begotten son to gather that remnant, elect, destroy Babylon the Great, and eventually set up the throne of David on earth under who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's what's coming. Okay. And this weak, wicked religion known as Christianity is failing. Many people are leaving. It's not making any sense. So what they're uh, doing, you know, instead of using the Bible to condemn these agendas that are even coming at our children, these agendas that challenge the narrative of the scriptures, they don't have a problem with that. The uh, new Christian, uh, you know, uh, mission is to stop the Hebrew Israelites. You even have people on the comment boards telling vocab, thank you for all of the edification he's bringing out on the Israelites. Now they're ready. You know, if they have to deal with an Israelite, now they're ready. You know, but are you ready to deal with the uh, LGBT, XYZ, you know, W, all right, Q, XXX934 movement? Are you being prepared to use the Bible to combat the evil and wickedness that's coming out of this very system. All right. Would you be prepared if, if, if because see, here it is. This, the, the funny thing about, and I would get some scriptures. The funny thing about this all is the issue is that we're calling ourselves Israelites. All right. But there's a group of people who have actually returned to the land, bombed, raped, robbed, murdered, stole, Okay, uh, 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 you know who the Palestinians are, right? Okay, what's happening to those people over there? What's happened since 1948 to now, even going before that? What's happened to those people? They've been obliterated, okay, and it's openly happening, and you don't see any cry. Just like people were just crying for Ukraine, you don't hear any cry for the Palestinians. But that's not a threat. Now, if the issue is that we're calling ourselves Israelites, okay, but then in another roundabout way, you're teaching the replacement theology, which everybody's an Israelite now, right? The true Israelites were cast away. Now the covenant and grace and everything is opened up to all nations. So we could all call ourselves Israelites. So what's the problem with us 
calling ourselves Israelites if that's the issue. And do you realize replacement theology challenges the narrative of the, the 1948ers who have returned to that land based upon the very premise that they are the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Okay? But anyway, we're not expecting you to be fair. We're not expecting you to challenge them because that's who you work for and that's who you are. And I believe that wholeheartedly that this guy is a 1948er. All right, but here it is in his video. He, he, he's, count, he's trying to count the Hebrew Israelites. So roughly in 2019, uh, under the, the, the tutelage of, you know, the Baba Bivens and yada, 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 and it's 13% over here. The population, like he's losing his mind. And who's, who's, in the, who's in the crowd? Jake, other Christians trying to figure it out. You can't figure this out without applying biblical prophecy. And when you omit biblical prophecy, you show that you really have a problem with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? And you have a problem with his true people. You're fighting against a brazen wall. What's happening with the Israelites awakening throughout the four corners of the earth cannot be carnally understood. And you better be careful trying to number Israel. The Lord didn't command you to do that, okay? So you, you better look out. Hey, how about Shimei Shai? All right, we're in, the, we're in the time of judgment, you know? I would, you know, but the unjust know it no shame, all right? So they're not going to stop until they are stopped, but we need this because it only uh, validates that this is the truth at the end of the day. Now, the scriptures say this in the book of uh, Psalms 50, and now jump 16. This is this whole movement because you got Christians on the comment board. Thank you. I'm ready to be, you know, if I have to deal with an Israelite, I'm prepared. So that's the whole thing. You know, now the whole, you know, uh, uh, the whole goal of a Christian is to figure out a way to stop the Israelites. And you can't stop the Israelites. Furthermore, here it is, you're numbering us, trying to figure out a way to, to, to identify each camp and each Israelite and what they believe. All right. But the, the scriptures clearly say this. Isaiah 10 and 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant, okay, that the remnant <laughs> of the house of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay up on him that smote them. And see, this is what the Edomite is really offended about because we're no longer looking to them for approval. We, we don't need the approval of a vocab Malone. Like, if we were just teaching we were black and, 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 and believe in white Jesus, he wouldn't be there. So since we're no longer staying up upon them, them that smote us, those who lied to us about who we were, those who created the slave Bible, we're no longer leaning on you, on you for understanding. We figured you out. But shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, as it was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a remnant shall return. See? So though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, you can't number the sand of the sea. See? A remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. So this is a decree that the Israelites are going to wake up. It's already written, signed, sealed, delivered, immutable. The immutability of his counsel. You can't, all right, uh, uh, alter what is already written. And that's your goal. You're trying to omit biblical prophecy. Clearly in the latter days, the Israelites will wake up. All right. And you're trying to figure out a way to carnally make uh, understanding of it. Label us terrorist. Okay. Every, every video. 21 celebrities who promote Hebrew Israelism. You know, he has another video. All right, Hebrew Israelites in the news. Okay, he has a video calling us a cult. And you should look up the, form, the, the, the term cult. Anyway, Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, God said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. And that's exactly what these people are trying to do. They're trying to take the covenant. Okay. 
You know, now that we've woken up and we're starting to cut them with the scriptures. Well, yeah, the first covenant was for the Israelites. We get it. But now the second one is for everybody. No. All right. The glory, the covenants. All right. The, 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 um, the, uh, the good graces of the most high. Okay, the, the new bodies, the law, statutes, commandments written in our inward part, the throne of David, that's only for the Israelites. No heathen will ever be a part of that. However, through us being established in the earth, the heathen will learn righteousness and you Edomites will be absolutely decimated. And the people who currently inhabit the Holy Land and call themselves the chosen, they're not doing anything to forward righteousness in the earth. They're too busy reading out of the Talmud. But somehow they're not a threat. Billions of dollars annually every year in aid, okay? But we're the welfare babies, right? We're the ones who, stop complaining. But anytime you mention them, there's a complaint. You got to apologize. Your video's taken down. So you're being found out to be a fraud. You don't fit biblical prophecy. Seeing that thou hatest instruction and casting my words behind thee. And that's the whole Christian church and the 1948ers and the Catholic church. Because the Christian church, so say we, we, we're not with the Catholics, the whole Protestant movement. But you're still a baby of them. And if you really uh, uh, were about defending the gospel, you'd be challenging those people and what they say and do and believe. And all of the children that are being molested. I was, I was having a conversation with a vocabian on a comment board. And I brought up all of the children that's being molested. And he said, I understand that that's happening. But, you know, the, 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 uh, I said millions of children being molested. He said, I'm pretty sure it's not millions. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not millions. Well, what about the 1948er over there bombing the Palestinians? Oh, well, we're more, the, 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 the Israelites are more dangerous than them. Somehow, just standing on street corners preaching the Bible, then a few little weirdos you can find who did some wickedness, as if Christians ain't doing wickedness. That somehow is, is, is the, the narrative of what we're all about. Okay? No. Yeah, you got some crazy-ass Israelites. Yeah, you got some crazy-ass camps, but nobody is as crazy and diabolical as you damn devils, man. And your history is being addressed. And this wicked kingdom known as America is going to be destroyed. You Christians don't want that. If you wanted that, you'd be speaking against this wickedness going on in this wicked-ass society and the agenda being pushed upon children. I'm going to keep saying that because here it is. We're labeled as you know, the molesters and rapists, which we haven't done that. But there's a whole damn movement being pushed up on children that even Israelites are silent on. Okay? And I hate the, when, when the harm of children. I hate that. I put curses on pedophiles and, 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 and uh, 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 people who literally torture and harm children every day. Okay? May Yahweh Shah deal with those wicked people because that's what this whole world is set up on. But somehow you jump over those issues that that plague this world in the Israelites, the black Hebrew Israelites, BHI. What is that? Anyway, you hate instruction. You Christians have cast the word and the instruction of the most high behind your back since your inception, man. Okay. And our people started that garbage. Okay? This universal, you know, and, 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 and it's, it's done. And you Edomites took hold of it as a means to lie, destroy the doctrine of discovery. So the, the Edomite Christian has nothing to say about somebody being a savage. And you 1948ers damn sure don't have nothing to say. When we say the 1948ers, that is the small hats. The people who hump the wall. We're in the scriptures where we commanded to hump a welling wall. Anyway, when thou sawest a thief, thou consentest with him and have been partaker with adulterers. That's the whole movement of Esau Edom and his so called Christian, you know, being the chosen people movement. It's all, all right, uh, uh, you consented with thieves and adulterers. 
You don't condemn wickedness at all. But somehow when we start standing up, now you got everybody's into the Bible. Everybody wants to, all of the Christians now, they, 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 uh, they're defenders of the gospel now. All of a sudden, but are silent on real issues. This is how you know they're full of S-H-I-T. I'm going to just jump to verse 50. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. And vocab is a walking fulfillment of this. And he's not the only one. See, we were looking at this video where uh, Bishop Nate even said he got word that the, 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 the higher ups are worried. They're scared of this movement. Okay. See, first they ignored us. Then they laughed at us. Now they're on the attack. These things hast thou done, okay, and I kept silence. This whole society, this whole system is an accusation against you Israelites. This whole system was set up to keep you and cut you off from your connection with your power. You see, but prophecy has prevailed. And that's what's happening. The Edomite is being swallowed up. His lies is being swallowed up. His pseudoscience is being swallowed up by prophecy. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself. You Edomites really thought you were the, 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 the guy. <laughs> you really thought that you were going to trick the world into believing the birthright was yours. But I will reprove thee. And how are you being reproved? Through the prophets, man. The lion rebuking the eagle through the spirit of Yahawashai, putting the spirit on the prophets who've been raised up. You are now being reproved. And we are what? And set them in order before thine eyes. We're being set back in order. You think after the destruction of what happened to us as a people here in America, we get some sympathy. People would understand why we're, we're doing this. But no, we ain't going to get no sympathy from this world. Anything we do is going to be laughed at and mocked. But they truly see the seriousness of what's happening. See that? They see the seriousness of what's happening. They see that, look, damn. You know, when you really listen to them, they're not just crazy. So we have to make them crazy. We have to figure out any little thing we can uh, uh, do to, to, to make them seem crazy and, and wicked and evil and hateful. Because you Edomites made up this whole racial construct of white, black, this, this, that. And now it's backfiring on you. And the Israelites awakening throughout the four corners of the earth is biblical prophecy. OK, there's nothing you can do about it. Isaiah 58 and 12. And they that shall be of thee, who's they that are of thee? The descendants and offspring of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? That's the narrative of the Bible. Okay? They shall build the old waste places. All right? And the old waste places is ultimately the tabernacle of David. See, you notice Christianity never deals with the tabernacle of David. They never really even talk about David. David's like a, a, a when you when you talk to the average Christian, David was a uh, all they talk about is this is a, adultery. They don't talk about the mercy. You see, they don't talk about the tabernacle. They don't want you to know the history. They don't want you to connect the scriptures. The average Christian opens the Bible up at Matthew and think they can get an understanding on everything including the Gentiles. And now the true understanding is coming out and they're scrambling, they're hurt. You see? When are you Christians going to use the Bible to stand up against the satanic agendas that are being implemented into the earth right now? Okay? There's very, there's too much partiality. You're supposed to get up, you're supposed to, we get on ourselves, we get on you Edomites, we get on the camps, we get on everybody. See? But the Christian narrative have now shifted to stopping the Israelites. Well, what you're doing when you want to stop the Israelites is this. Jeremiah 15 and 20. And I will make thee unto this people, okay, <laughs> a fenced brazen wall. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. And that's what Yahawashai was set up to do. Through that sacrifice now in this grace period, we're, we're going to be delivered, Lord willing, if we're of that number. But there is already a remnant foreordained to be delivered up out of here. And that's 
going to be the 144,000 and the large multitude, which are all of the house of Israel. Okay, that's the remnant that's going to be restored. Okay, and some of those are already in the heavens, but some of us are on earth and we have our sacrifice. But the Lord's determination is to gather us all in one. Okay, so we're becoming a burden to these people. Let's get Zechariah 12. Okay, the Israelites are becoming a burdensome stone. So this is why there's a seriousness being pushed. All right, from the prophets. Because we're getting ready to undergo some serious persecution that if you're not rooted, you're going to make the you're going to allow these people to make you believe that you're the issue and that you're the hateful one and that you're the problem for merely fulfilling prophecy and merely standing up against a wicked, satanic, garbage society. Because this place is garbage, man. OK. Zechariah 12 and 2, behold, I will make Jerusalem. Now, who's Jerusalem? The elect, wherever the remnant are scattered, wherever that number is, those small sanctuaries are likened unto Jerusalem. Okay? That's why we're able to keep the Passover in, in the land of our captivity, because we are Jerusalem. We are the spiritual temple. We are the spiritual holy priesthood. Okay, we are Jerusalem. The elect are Jerusalem. Wherever we are. Now, the heathen always knew that they had to sack the temple. The heathen always knew they had to cut off that relationship we had with our power because when that connection was on point, they lost. Remember in the wilderness when we was on point with our Lord, what was the determination of the heathen? We have to figure out a way, okay, to cast a stumbling block on these people. You see? And that's what they've been doing the whole time. But with the remnant, the enchantments ain't working. Okay? We've, we've come out of that deep sleep where you wanted to, us to remain. In the fact, you, you, you're you happy and comfortable with us calling ourselves black, putting tattoos and Mexican and Indian and putting tattoos all over our face and over our bodies and our women being whores. The fact that you don't have a problem with that shows us you don't give a damn about us. Okay? Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about. See? They're trembling Oh, in 1973, a guy by the name of Aria, he, he, look at this guy. How many are there? See that? <laughs> black Hebrew Israelites. There he goes. 4% consider themselves black Hebrew Israelites. 19% agree with most of it. 9% disagree. 62% are not familiar. So 15% disagree. 62% are not familiar. He's trying to physically, okay, uh, uh, make a determination on what's happening spiritually. And you can't do it. Okay? They they like to laugh at the splits. Somebody uh, uh, do me a favor and just put in how many denominations Christianity has on the comment board. Okay, how many factions and splits have they had? Why don't you go into that garbage history? Because nobody cares. Nobody really clicks on your videos unless you're talking about the Israelites. Okay, so we're being made a cup of trembling when they shall be in the siege both against Judah and against Jerusalem, northern and southern kingdom, the tabernacle of David that is being built. They're going to try to siege it. See, in times past, there was a physical temple that was sieged. There was a physical temple that they attacked. Well, now we are a spiritual temple and they're going to attack it. Verse 3, in that day, I will, will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. We're a burdensome stone. Let's look up this word burdensome. They're burdened by this word. The burden of Babylon. All right. Uh, my, ma, sa. OK, a load, a burden. <laughs> OK, we're a heavy load to these people. 
You got the black pastors coming together. What do, what do we got to do about these Israelites? Well, what the hell are you going to do about the white man? When have you niggas ever came together and tried to figure out a way <laughs> to, to, for him to be stopped? Okay, this is how, how thick the spell is. Our own people will join an agenda to overthrow all right, their blessing. Anyway, in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people, and all that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered against it. And that's what this is going to end. This is going to then be on the news. You think this guy is something. Wait till they really come after us. Okay? Just wait. Big big name pastors who've been silent on the, the, the alphabet agenda, they're going to start talking about you. T.D. Jakes. Okay? That's what's coming. Okay? And the wicked agenda of the elite is going to be exposed more once they start to put us on the news because more people are going to start inquiring. So you all work for us at the end of the day. What you are doing at the end of the day, though we're annoyed, it really benefits us at the end of the day because the sooner you make your move, the sooner Yahweh Bashimiao Shai is going to end this thing because according to the Holy Scriptures, once the elect is sealed in their foreheads, the ones who are on earth, the end is going to come. So you're fighting against Yahweh Bashim Shai, and you're fighting against prophecy to try to stop the Israelites from awakening. Clearly in Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, okay, there's a prophecy of the dry bones and them awakening from a dead state. Okay, let's get the book of Baruch real quick. Baruch chapter uh, 2 and 29. If ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. We've been scattered. Okay? And we're small sanctuaries among the nations of believers. Okay? So it's supposed to look impossible. It's supposed to look insignificant. It's supposed to look downtrodden it's not supposed to be this great you know efficient you know uh, uh, machine no we're supposed to look uh, uh, low level the lord have chose the base things of this world to confound the wise and they're hurt their narrative is now being challenged and you think this ain't got nothing to do with edomite supremacy you're damn sure it does but a nigga will join that for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people and nobody's more stiff-necked than the Israelites. So I get why we're in this position. I get why they, they, they look at us and laugh. I get it. All right? But the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for that remnant. Because though Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall return. So the remnant are going to be the ones that, that are going to remember themselves. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. And shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Uh-oh. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds. Okay, eating a uh, 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 pig, all right, uh, hog head cheese. Okay, uh, committing adultery with another man's wife, murdering their own brothers. Okay, abusing each other doing all kind of wickedness that this world promotes and the 1948ers control a system okay the rap music who controls that to where they're able to use our own people to forward these mindsets and ideologies and wicked uh behaviors amongst our people okay they have the money to to to, to uh change this this world around like that but they haven't done it and when you look at what they're doing with Jake, I mean, Jake is in the middle of any form of rebellion. Jake is at the forefront of it. They're the face of it. Okay? Uh, 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 Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, Aisha Curry, uh, Steph Curry, all of these open relationships now. That's, the new, that's a part of the NWO to defile marriages. 
Okay, our people are at the forefront of pushing witchcraft heavily, but who 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 who's behind it all? So to hell with all of you people. Okay? We we we've turned from our stiff neck and wicked deeds. We understand that rebellion against the Lord is why we're here. Okay? You're mad that the captive is hastened to be loosed. Let's get that real quick. Isaiah 51 and 14. The captive exile hastened that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread shall fail. And that's what that's what we want to be loosed. <laughs> so basically, you all are telling us we have a uh, 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 dreptomania. OK, basically, let's look up dreptomania. Look up that term real quick. <laughs> Dreptomania was a supposed mental illness that in 1851, American physician Samuel A. Cartwright hypothesized as the cause of enslaved Africans fleeing captivity. Enslaved Israelites. Okay? Slave life was so pleasant, the official view was that you're mentally ill if you would want to run away. This is the mindset that they have towards you standing on your feet and saying, I am the Israelite. I want out. I'm going to lean on the Lord. I'm not leaning on you no more. I'm running away. So what they want to do is catch you and brand you and mark you. That's what they would do with a runaway slave back then. What the hell you think they want to do now? That's why they're moving so fervently to establish their bullshit. Excuse my French, but we're passionate about this truth, and you devils are, are a sight. You're a, a sight to look at you, man, just, and, and, and just hear you lie and your reasoning. It, it, it's wicked, man. You're a very wicked group of people, man. And for our people who still trust in you, you're a very wicked group of people. So the captive exile, let's read this in the NLT. Soon, as all, soon all you captives will be released, imprisonment, starvation, and death will not be your faith. But you're wicked for wanting that. You're wicked for wanting out of captivity. <laughs> you, you standing up all over the earth, the earth saying you want out of captivity, you're special to the Lord, telling your people to stop being uh, uh, whoremongers and weirdos and freaks. That somehow makes you the problem. And we need to discuss this. Really, this guy is telling us we have dreptomania. Wow. It's a mental condition to want to get out of captivity and to think you're special. Verse 33 in Baruch, the second chapter, and Baruch was the scribe of Jeremiah. Okay? And return from their stiff neck and their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again to the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And they shall be lords of it, and I will increase, increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Now, here it is. The scriptures is telling us that the, the true Israelites are going to return from a stiff neck. They're going to return in captivity. Okay? And then be brought back to that land. Okay? For us to even stand up and say... We're the rightful heirs to that land is a problem, but they can go over there, okay, bomb. Although the scriptures never said the Israelites will return to that land through war, okay, a seven-day war. The, the scriptures never said that that would happen. The scriptures said there won't be any war anymore when the Israelites return to that land. So when the hell are they going to be questioned? But we get it. You work for them. You are them. Okay? And we're not going to be diminished and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their God and they should be my people. I Meaning he's going to dwell in us through the new covenant and I will no more drive my people Israel out of the land that I have given them. So who in the hell are those people over there? And where, where OK, you, you, you got the so-called J.E.W.'s. Now, where's uh, uh, the rest of the tribes? 
We bringing that understanding out through the prophets being raised up. And that's exactly what this is speaking of in Ezekiel 37 chapter. Okay, the dry bones in the valley uh, uh, is speaking of the Israelites over here in America. Ezekiel 37 and 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me about in the spirit and set me down in the midst of a valley which was full of bones. Now Ezekiel, all right, meaning the strength of the power, okay, is, is symbolic of the prophets. Okay? And he caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Okay? And what is this speaking of? The Israelites. Okay? Without the understanding. As a matter of fact, Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. OK, there was a falling away. We were fall, uh, 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 bowing to idols. OK, eating what we wanted to do, doing what we wanted to do, leading and living lives without order or structure. OK, not cultivated. That's what cult mean. Cult really means a culture because here it is. They call us a cult, right? <laughs> well, let's go to the etymology of the word cult. And see, this is the pseudoscience that they've been able to run with. They've been able to control the narrative based upon false pretenses, memes, which the uh, beloved brother Pashai went into memes and how that's a psychological warfare. They set up these social medias and things like that. Uh, 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 they knew what they were doing. These memes and these different doctrines that they're instilling in people's minds, they're all lies. But they're losing so much control of the narrative that they're pushing more lies, okay? So one of the things they, they love to say is the Hebrew Israelites are a cult. The term cult, 1610s, worship homage, a particular form or system of worship. So the Christian church ain't a cult, okay? From Latin cultus, care. Labor, cultivation, culture, worship, reverence. See, we became a wild olive tree because we were not cultivated. Okay? We weren't tilled. Okay? So how in the hell has this now been turned to a, a, a term to call somebody the, the, the worst thing going? Cult. That's your, you're a cult. You're a cult. Well, I mean, if you look up the true meaning of the word cult, yeah. We're cultivating our people through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, because clearly they were dry bones at one point. Let's look up the word dry. The, the, it said the, the bones were very dry, and that's our people. They're in a dry state. Yah Bash, dry, dried. Okay, dried away. No water. Okay. To wither, to become withered up, dried up, to exhibit dryness, lacking moisture. Okay, that's physically and spiritually our people lack moisture. Now, what is moisture? Water. Okay. So the water, according to Isaiah, the 44th chapter, will be spewed out of the bellies of the prophets which is symbolic of the doctrine going out. And this is what Ezekiel did in this chapter. He was told to what? Can these bones live? Because the bones, as a matter of fact, we were in the congregation of the dead. Revelation 11 clearly tells you in a spiritual Sodom in Egypt, the dead bodies of the Israelites, all right, would, would uh, 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 be... The dead bodies of the Israelites will lie in the street of this great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And that great city is Babylon the Great, where also our Lord was crucified, man. His ways, his image, okay, were all crucified, okay? And under whose authority did that happen? The Romans? Hmm? Under the Romans, 
system was our Lord crucified, but who, 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 who pushed him to be crucified? His own people. Those who didn't want to accept him. So the dead bodies of the Israelites would, would lie in a great city of spiritual Sodom and Egypt. And we can clearly see that this is that spiritual Sodom and Egypt. We don't have to go into why. Okay, but what, what would happen? The, the question is, can these bones live? Okay, can, son, can these bones live? And he said, Lord God, thou knowest. Verse 4, again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and said to them, O ye bones, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Is that not what we're doing? Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. And that's what's happening. These dry bones, these dead bones, these dead bodies are now being awakened through what? Verse 11, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. So you can't carnally explain this movement. You have to spiritually explain this movement. This is happening via the Holy Scriptures, via the Holy Spirit. And from that, we stood up on our feet and great fear fell upon them, which saw them. And we're seeing the result of fear through guys like Vocab Malone. Sirach 36 and 15, give testimony to those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. That's how our people would, would be awakened. All right, as it says here in Jeremiah 29 and 15, because ye have said the Lord has raised us up prophets in Babylon. Okay, that would lead to the throne of David being established. Okay. Verse 14, and I will be found of you, said the Lord, and will, will turn away your captivity and gather you from the nations and from all the places where they have driven you, said Yahweh, and I will bring you again to the place where I cause you to be carried away captive. Okay, so how, how do those people over there in the land fulfill this prophecy? We are fulfilling this prophecy. G. <laughs> right. So as he prophesied. When the breath was entered into us, the bones started to come together, meaning the elect started to be brought back together, man, because we were broken. We were wasted away. All right. Well, didn't we say that that uh, uh, the, the, they shall build up the waste places and the fountains, foundations of many generations are going to be rebuilt? Well, th this whole chapter Gives you that process. And what does it lead to? As he prophesies, we're going to stand up on our feet as an exceeding great army. Same thing that was said in Revelation 11. He quoted this. Okay. And from there, Judah and Israel will be reunited. Okay. And what is he going to do? He's going to take us from among the heathen. Ezekiel 37 and 21 and say unto them, thus said the Lord God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether we will be scattered, whether they be gone, and I will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. So you all are fighting up against prophecy. When you're fighting against the Israelites, you're fighting against prophecy. You can't carnally understand this, uh, uh, Jack. OK, this is all happening and this is all ordained from the Holy Spirit, okay? And we ain't got to go too deep into this chapter. Maybe we'll go into it another time. But clearly, this is a prophecy that you all are saying doesn't exist anymore, okay? And clearly, the, 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 that's how the kingdom will be set up, through the dry bones awakening, the prophets going out and preaching, and the dry bones standing up on their feet and receiving the breath of life and standing on their feet turning from their wicked ways and leaving from that dead state and entering into life. Because, yeah, we were alive before we knew this truth, but we weren't living. We're living now that the breath has been entered into us, man. So I'm going to leave that there. Okay, the, 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 he got a, he got a, 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 he got a, another one coming. 21 celebrities who promote Hebrew Israelism. Well, how many of them are Catholics and Christians? You see, but don't expect, see, brothers and you few sisters who listen, don't expect them to be fair. OK, it's going to be unfair. It's going to be a very biased 
presentation of what we're about. They're going to find the worst of the worst clips. And we could do the same, but we'd be up all day. We're too busy prophesying and going into what, what needs to be done in order for us to get the hell up out of captivity. You all think you're going to just ride the coattail of the Israelites when if you believe in the Bible, period, <laughs> going into this NWO, you're going to be targeted. So let's see if what you're doing with the Israelites is going to help your Christian following when this world really clamps down and to believe in the Bible, okay, it's going to be a, uh, and what you're going to find out is that these people really don't uh, uh, believe in the Bible like that. They believe in that plantation Christianity and they believe in their own pseudoscience that makes them the chosen. That's what they want to be forwarded in the earth, but it ain't working no more because what? Second Edras six. So we're in the best position, man. Although it's a straight gate, it's all good, man. Second Edra six and twenty seven. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched, as for faith it shall flourish. Okay, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth would have been so long without fruit shall be declared. There you go. The truth which has been so long without fruit is now being declared through the holy prophets that have been raised up to gather to the remnant together in uh, preparation for salvation. There's nothing you can do. You can't stop it. As we read in Jeremiah, the 15th chapter. OK, you're fighting against a brazen wall. You're not going to prevail. OK, you're actually helping us. Okay, Jeremiah 1 and 18, for behold, I have made thee this day a defense city. Okay, and really, and that's symbolic, that's talking to Jeremiah, but that's symbolic of the elect, the spiritual Jerusalem, and an iron pillar and a brazen wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against our own people, and against the princes thereof, and against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there, man. Hopefully I'll edify it on to the next. Shalom.